Welcome, my loves. This is Anna, the Star Priestess Tarot, back again with a daily pick a card, and this time about what's that information that you still don't know about your future spouse. Okay, my loves. So, as you can see, there are three groups over here. Group number one, cherish. Cherish your relationship with Lapis Lazuli. I have just bought it today, this gem, so beautiful. Lapis Lazuli, group number one. Group number two, we have feelings. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing. And this is, I love this type of gem. Send your Laura Quartz, group number two. And group number three, we have connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable with fluorite. My loves, if you want something more private, more detailed, and not spending a lot of time with great readers, that truly has psychic abilities. You have my offers of Keen or Purple Guard. If you want a private reading with me instead, you can go through my shop because from time to time I open new spots. Okay, my loves? I will leave you to connect with your groups and my angels. I am doing daily readings, a mix of love readings and general topics. If you like my energy and the way I channel and the way I connect with spirit so I can bring you great information about your life, subscribe. And of course, and always giving thumbs up and leaving a comment, it helps this community to grow. My angels, I will see you in a few moments. Welcome, my loves. This is the Star Priestess Tarot. Let's see about that information that I suppose most of you, you have not heard yet about your future spouse. So love it. The card that you have chosen on Lapis Lazuli. I have just bought these gems today. So cherish and cherish your relationship. Absolutely. This is so beautiful. I did not realize that it's so similar to the color of of the sky of the card. See that? This is so beautiful. And this reminds me of an egg. It's the form of an egg. So this is letting me know that maybe some of you, you already have children. Even it could be, I'm listening, that some of you, you have grandchildren and you will marry again, believe it or not. <laughs> and yes, I love it. I love it. I see, I was listening before that this is an everlasting love relationship and very beautiful the characters are we can see them uh, because the light it's not yes turning on them so, so we see the in a way like they're not the shadows but yes we see the figures but we are not seeing the details so this is letting me know that your future spouse is very close even earlier than what you expect and you're going to be quite surprised about how given they are. I am listening that they love to give. They love to give you. They will love to give you always. Like very, this is a giver, not so much a receiver. I don't know if you like that. Maybe you have to, maybe you have to teach your future spouse that it is safe to receive. Hmm. I was listening. I don't think you heard this information before, but I was listening about your future spouse that they were raised that way. You see, with a star, let's grab all of these because they have fallen all of them together. You see, so this is absolutely your everlasting love. This is your future spouse. This is your wishing coming true. But again, you see how it, it, makes, uh, it makes sense what I was channeling. 
sorry, I'm going to cover this. Do you sense how she's like giving away this water back to Mother Gaia? So I feel that your future spouse is always giving and giving and giving and giving to their family, okay? Maybe he or she's the provider of the family or with a star card, maybe even it could be that some of them, they're a celebrity or some of them, they're doing so well financially that they are like the main economical foundation in, in the whole family, okay? And even I'm listening, they are going to, they are going to continue that legacy. But I am listening with a two of wands that, and of course, what it means, your future spouse is waiting for you to come in, okay? They feel they have absolutely everything. He's holding the world, but they really want to give to you. I mean, it's not that they don't want to give to the family anymore, but I feel that your future spouse really wants something of him, her own, not in a way of possession, like, okay, yes, I know I have been trained like this. I think they're very aware. They're very smart, okay? Your future spouse is very intelligent. They know what they're doing very well, but they don't mind. Again, they were trained to be a giver, giving a lot of, yes, a lot of their energy, their time with the water, right? And while they're doing that, providing to the family, providing for themselves as well, of course, they are waiting for you to come in into their life. I think that they have been waiting for you, many of them, since they were two years old, and even some of them, I am listening, four, six years old, eight, ten, twelve, you know, in Paris. I don't know if you, some of you, you're living in a home where the, the, the number of your home is pair. I was listening pair. You are the perfect pair. You are divine pair. You will have a pair of children, two children. Even it could be four, six, some of you eight, because I know some of you, you want to have a lot of children, that's fine. Or you already have children and both of you, you will have more children. Okay. Even it could be because some, some couples, they get together and they have children from different marriages or relationships. Wow, look at that. The six of wands. So this person with the star and the two of wands, this person is very, very, very successful. This person is very, 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 very successful. He's doing amazing with money. And again, they are, I, I, I feel all of these people like praising them and waiting something from him, from her, from your future spouse. And I see your future spouse like being very concentrated, being very concentrated in, in like, where is he? Where is she? Do you believe me, group number one, if I tell you that your future spouses are, they have more desire to find you than you to find them? And maybe some of you are going to go like, come on, Anna, I am really, if I'm, I'm watching so many future spouses readings, it's because I want to find him here as well. But I tell you, because I'm sensing the energy, you know, my, my loss, my reading style is a little bit maybe different. Of course, I'm doing the interpretation of the cards, but I'm, I consider myself more a medium, a psychic. And sometimes I get transport like into their energy and I'm sensing that, that they want to give you the world. They want to give you their heart. They want to give you whatever you need. Even in bed, I'm listening. They are 100% givers. It's not that they don't want to receive in bed or they don't want to receive in general in this relationship, but they don't know how to be a different way. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? So I think that at least what I'm watching now, I don't know if and maybe you have received in other readings that your future spouse is a provider or likes to give, but this is like extreme, really extreme. And I think that maybe you need to teach them, again, I'm listening from spirit, that it, it is safe that you receive as well. And you know, the crazy thing is that I, I, don't, see a, a, I don't see them receiving a lot of gifts, even from family, even from friends. They, I don't know why. <laughs> this is so weird. Has this happened for some of you? 
we have the world. You see, this person, wow, this person is has such a high value in all of the senses, really. This person is like, I think that you're going to think of your future past like too perfect. This is too perfect for me. It cannot work. And I'm listening from spirit. Psst, be quiet. Don't say that. You know, I don't know if this is going to be the vibe when you meet them. It's like, this is too too good to be true. This is impossible. I'm not, I'm not perfect, but they're not perfect. I think that, again, they have been raised, they have been trained <laughs> to be like that. You know what I mean? And then we have the King of Swords, we have the Page of Cups, okay? Again, this is somebody, even it could be that some of them, they are diplomats or they work, or they work for the government or the CIA, CIA for NASA. Maybe there are some of them, they have a high position in as a military, maybe they're in special forces, like, how do you call it in English? SWAT? Is it SWAT? You know? And although many people try to have something with your future spouse, because I sense, like, they receive, maybe they don't receive a lot of gifts, but they receive a lot of invitations. Many people try to flirt with your person, but you see, <laughs> it's so funny. I sense this is like the representation of others trying to conquer your future spouse. I don't know, maybe some of you, you are like that as well. And your future spouse is like, you know, like, no. <laughs> you are not him, you're not her, you know, you are not the one for me. It's like, maybe they don't seem like highly connected to spirit or to their intuition, but they are. And they merely give chances to people. <laughs> They're very focused in finding you. And I know it, it may sound crazy and you're like, come on, Anna, I'm sure they're having something with someone. I'm not sure you know. But I see that they give this appearance of being very serious, you know? Like, I have everything, like, very... Every, everything in my in my life, it's really tidy, organized. Don't mess with my, with my plans because I know what I want. You see, with the High Priestess... This person is very balanced, but again, I tell you that I think that you have you will have to teach them that it's safe to receive. I think that I even see your future spouse like crying. Like I, I don't really. I am amazed, and I and and really, your future spouse is going to tell you. I feel so grateful for my family and my friends, <laughs> and I really think that you're going. Maybe I don't think you're going to introduce into their beautiful heads like bad ideas about the family or friends but maybe you're going to open a little window inside of them like okay it's good that you're giving so much but don't get um, manipulated okay i don't know maybe they're not doing it on purpose the family and friends you know maybe they're good people but this is a dynamic that has been going for quite a long time and we have the four of pentacles and the two of swords you see so this person I, f I see and I feel with the energy and I see with the Four of Pentacles that they are quite introverts, although they know how to move themselves in different environments to just to connect with different type of people. They're good at that, okay, because of their job, their career. Maybe even it could be because of some family members. But you see, with the Two of Swords, they have not founded you yet and they are suffering. They're suffering. They're like, okay, I have tried online dating. I have tried going out a lot. It's like, what, what am I doing wrong? But maybe they don't understand that it's divine timing, really, with the high priestess, with the star, with the six of wands and the world. So this is very successful connection, right? This is a very successful marriage. And it's meant to happen when it's meant to happen, not before, not later. I think both of you, you have seen one another in your dreams. Could it be? Group number one, if you want to share it. I think that this person has very beautiful blue eyes. Very beautiful blue eyes. That's why this color. I really think that they have very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I was listening in Spanish, almendrados, like, all, you know, like a sort of almond eye, you know, very beautiful eyes. And the eyelashes are very long, whether it's a man or a woman. 
because it's many of you I see like very long eyelashes very long ones I don't know if this is something that you like but yes okay let us grab some oracle okay I am going to get this one star in Spanish but they're so beautiful I love the pictures Wow, look at that. You see, lo masculino, the masculine. So, and I'm a 42. So I think that many of you, you're going to meet between February and, and April. Even it could be that this person, because of the star, could be Aquarius, or has traits of Aquarius, or could be um, Aries. I think so. And you see, both of you, you, you were meant to be together since you were a child, okay? Since you were a child, both of you, you were thinking of one another. And I feel that if you want to meet a man very similar to him physically, okay? Very fit, very cute. And if you want to meet a woman, I feel that she's very fit as well, very fit. Okay? I am going to grab another oracle. Yes, I think that this is information that maybe you did not receive before. I, I've never connected with such an energy. I mean, I have connected with people that are, that are givers. But like in this level, in my life, in my life, I, I, really. And this is Princess, you can be your own knight. Yes. And number one. I think that's something that they're going to love about you is that you're not waiting for anyone to save you. And they admire that from you. They see you like a mix of sweetness and somebody very strong. And you see how she's relaxed, cleaning the sword. This is like besides the bed. So this is letting me know that both of you will be very relaxed and very natural in bed, okay? Uh, in intimacy, yes. And both of you will not be in defensive mode. I feel that your, your future spouse tends to be in defensive mode or do not trust most of people. But this is going to be completely different with you. Hmm. One of the two has very long, long, long hair. I don't know if it's you or your future spouse. Okay, I did not realize this was like this, so let's grab this, and again, very long hair, okay? So deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. You see, I really feel that when they meet you, at last, they are, I, may, I even think that they're going to tell you, at last I can rest, I have found you. I'm listening that very clearly. At last I have found you. And I see the way they look to your eyes, like very, 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 very direct. I don't know if you like that, but they're very direct, the way they look straight. You know, it's like they're not only looking to you physically, they're looking wow, inside of you. And maybe some of you, you're like that as well. And the last card, spirit, please. And the Ariel, this is diary, right? I think that they're talking, they're talking to you in a diary, you know? That helps them to continue not feeling sad because they have not founded you yet. Maybe some of you, you have already met your future spouse. And I think that they have been doing a lot of scripting to manifest you. What did I tell you about Almond Eye? blue eyes this is crazy <laughs> and the way they look at you like whoa it's like they can read it like if they were an x-ray machine you know it's like oh my gosh i mean i feel like like i feel like you were reading my soul and i feel and i think that 
that's another information that maybe you did not receive about your future spouse. The way they, they can read you, you've never experienced something like that in your life. Wow. Group number one. What a what an honor to read for both of you. I am doing daily readings, okay? Uh, very soon I will start doing a mix of tarot, channeling as well, always, and candle wax, okay, my loves? If you want to subscribe, if you like my energy, we would love you to be in this, yes, to be part of this beautiful community. I would love to see you in the next reading. And remember, guys, that if you want a very, very economical reading for only $10 or one dollar in king or purple garden you have it down below that's where i go personally you can you can have those offers through my links uh, that way i receive a donation thank you so much if you're going to support me so i can continue uploading a lot of free videos but again you will receive timing i'm sure and very specific details my loves mwah, i have opened a new spots for private readings through my shop have a beautiful day and again what an honor to have been connecting to both of you. Bye, my loves. <laughs> Bye. Welcome, group number two. Welcome. So, Love the card that you have chosen. Take time out to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing. So beautiful feelings. And this is one of my favorite type of gems. Angel Laura. I love it. The rainbows that it creates. You see, so beautiful. I think that whenever you're watching rainbows, it's a sign that whatever happens in your life you will always find one or another in each reincarnation i was listening i think that rainbows represents miracles after a storm a rainbow comes out and it's so beautiful with all of the colors of the aura seven i think that you have been receiving a lot of sevens and fours i'm listening seven some fours and five some of some of you and what I'm listening as a psychic medium that I am about your future spouse that I have doubt somebody has told you this. Maybe some of you, you're very psychic and readers. Hello. And you already have received this information. But what I was listening is that your future spouse feels embarrassed about the past. Okay. I don't think they're going to tell you everything. Not because they don't trust you. I really feel that both of you conversations are going to, to go for hours through the phone, through the cam, in person, a lot of talking, great conversations, very interesting conversations. I don't know if this is something that you like to have with the people that you connect, talking about many different stuff, many topics, but what i'm listening from spirit when i get this card and i'm watching this beautiful photograph of one hand trying to relax the other hand holding the other hand i feel that this is you and this is the representation of your future spouse so i really feel that um, because you're so sensitive as well and so psychic and you can read people emotionally so well, you can sense that they, very, they get nervous with you quite a lot. <laughs> okay, maybe some of you, you're going to feel like holding their hands and doing a, a little massage. So if it's not that, I see all of you like very tender, like trying to relax them because they're very... Nervous, they like you a lot. The future spouse is going to like you a lot, or maybe some of you already have met, and this is the confirmation from spirit that that's the person. But I, again, I was listening from them. I don't want to tell him, I don't want to tell her, because I don't want this to be over. I don't know why they have the feeling. Maybe it's because of past experiences. Because they see you such a great person. They see you like a dream coming true. They don't want you to think that they are not awesome like you. You know, I, I well, maybe they think that, that they are not so awesome like you. The future spouse thinks they're not so awesome. And I really feel 
maybe I'm wrong about some of you because this is a general reading. It's going to be many of you that you're going to be in this group. But I really feel that you are... I don't know if this is a small group, but I, I think that if there's a if there's a group in this planet of people that do not judge, it's you. So they're going to be quite surprised about that. I really don't feel okay. This is okay already coming out. You see, hiding, hiding. Uh, I I really feel that they're going to be surprised with you in the way that you're not going to judge them the moment they tell you about it. Maybe some of them they have been in prison. Maybe some of them, if it was not them, maybe a family member was in prison, or maybe some of them they had a past with addictions. Okay, could be as well. Maybe some of them. Mm, they lost all of the money, but now they're doing well. There's, there's something going on about the past that in the beginning they will not tell you about it because they don't feel proud about it. And I think that you're going to come into the life, not only because you're going to have a lot of fun together and it's going to be an amazing marriage, oh, too many cards, but because you're going to show them that not everyone in this planet judges. And they're going to show you that you are more awesome than what you th you you're aware. <laughs> That's what I'm listening very clearly. Let's see with the cards. So again, another card of waiting. So this person has been waiting, many of them, for two years for you, or maybe even four years, six years. Even I'm listening that many of you of them has been married. No more than two years, many of them, okay, they're divorced. Or maybe they went out in a very long relationship, they married and they divorced quite early. That was like a little bit of shock for your person because your person is not of, of night one, uh, one night stand. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. Some people, they like that and it's fine. If, if, they are, if it's something good for both sides, why not? But I don't feel this is the case of your future spouse. Your future spouse, this is somebody that they want a very mature and serious relationship. Okay? I really think that you have been, well, you have been my love, with more people than them in, in terms of sex. I know this is not important for you, I suppose, but I, les I listen that <laughs> from spirit. So six of cups, yes. Uh, maybe... Your future spouse is going to remind you of somebody from your past, okay? Maybe like a friend from the past, a, a platonic love story that you had, or an ex. It could be, eh? Physically, they look the same, but personality is very different. We have the Page of Cups, okay? I really feel your future spouse, although they're going to be very nervous, First time they see you, first time they talk to you, even second time, third time, fourth time. Again, I sense them very nervous. Nevertheless, however insecure they may feel, they know they have to, they don't want to lose you. Okay? I, you know what I'm listening from your future spouse? They must be a cat. Just by looking at you, they're a cat. <laughs> they must have so many people that wants to go out with them. And I'm sure you do whether you're aware or not. I'm sure you do. You have a lot of admirers. And I'm sensing that many of you, you're becoming a celebrity or well-known or your platform is becoming viral. It's just about to become viral. So I see a big potential of many people trying to be in your life. And this person, is, this is not going to surprise your future spouse. We have the Nine of Wands. Okay. I think that your future spouse, and maybe uh, you have not received this information, your future spouse is an amazing person, okay? I think it's the best person you have ever met. Really, very good person. Very good woman. Some of you want to be a woman. Very good man. Very good people. With a great heart. And the Spirit is telling me to grab this beautiful amethyst that I bought today. Very big heart. Really. This person, this is somebody that is not afraid of you shining more than them or being becoming more successful than them. You know, this is not... In that way, 
they're not insecure. But it is true that I don't know if you're more beautiful than him, than her. I don't know if it's because you're becoming very successful. Or maybe it's the, it's like a big crash that they're going, you know, it's like they're going to fall in love very quickly towards you. But again, I have a sensation from your future spouse that they think they're not enough for you. So maybe you will have to teach them through your love that you're more than enough. Oh my gosh, I love you, honey. You know, it's like you're going to sense that, yes, they listen to you, but it's like... Mm, Oh my gosh, if I tell them about my past, this thing about my past, will they leave me? You know, but I see you, my love, you're very, very intelligent emotionally, very intelligent. And you see their heart, you see their soul, you know, you see this person is really worth it. I really feel that both of you, you think the same of one another, but maybe they need a little bit of, of, of work in their confidence, in their self-esteem. You see the seven of swords, you know, I think that instead of saying stealing, this card is saying, oh, I don't will, I, will, I will hide these five things about my past, but I will show them these two things. I will do it slowly but steady, you know, they want to make sure that you're not going to <laughs> disappear. I don't know if they have been ghosted in the past. Or may, again, maybe they have not been ghosted because I really feel that your future spouse is somebody that they have people interested in them. But they are going to like you so much. It's too, I, I even feel like overwhelmed <laughs> by emotions, by attraction. You know, it's like, you know, I, th I see your future spouse like, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be a joke between both of you. I'm Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I feel and I see with the cards, it could be a big difference of age between both of you. Okay, yes, a big difference of age. But I don't feel that's going to become a, an issue or a problem at all. I think that both of you, feelings is going to be again. Feelings are going to flow, you know? And I feel that... Mm, whatever you think it's weak in your life, in yourself, your partner will be there for you. And the same, you will do the same with your future spouse. I am listening from spirit that both of you, you will become a great team together. Yes. And you will align, as we said before with the rainbow, you will align one another. Okay. Whenever they need to be calm, you will be there. Whenever you need a hug, they will be there. You see, I see, I sense a lot of sensitivity between both. I, I really feel that it's important for both of you to take care of your own feelings and of the feelings of your partner. Maybe this was misunderstood by many couples coming from your past or their past. Maybe this is, this is an issue that you pass through, both of you. I am watching motorbikes. I think they love motorbikes. They have a motorbike. They're very sexy. So interesting. To see them so insecure with you. And you're going to be mesmerized by your future spouse. And they're going to be mesmerized by you. I'm listening. And we have it's time to stop procrastinating. Believe. Wow, and I love it with a unicorn. One second. You see, these two cards do not want to separate. They don't want to separate from you. They want to spend a lot of time with you. You are loved. You see how gentle is she holding the deer. You see, I feel this is your energy. And this is the energy of your future spouse. You know, you know how to make them feel good, comfortable, safe. It's like... You can tell me whatever you want to, t really, you can tell me whatever. I'm not going to be scared. I am here. Don't you see? I am here. I'm not leaving. You know, maybe you will have to tell him, her sometimes in the beginning. But they will believe. They will believe that it's possible to be with someone and be open about what they consider it's a... 
yes, like a, like a negative thing about the past. You know what they consider it's embarrassing. Now they're going to start believing that there's very good, good, good people like you. Maybe they have, they've had very bad experiences with other people. You know, they have not been very nice with their heart. They have not taken care of them, their necessities. And, and the unicorn normally comes out when there's a lot of magic, magical moments, magical conversations, you know. And the stars. If you believe in star seeds, for sure, both of you, your star seeds. I think that you are meant to do something together, a project together. And we have, as I said, it's time to stop procrastinating. I really f see that your future spouse, uh, sometimes they feel a little bit lazy with work, okay? <laughs> not in this relationship with you, but with work. I think that they're not very happy in their job right now. Maybe they're going to tell you about it on the first date. And we have, you did it, and you're awesome. What did I tell you? I'm not going to shout. What have I channeled before? Thank you, spirit. What did I tell you? They're going to tell you, you are awesome. You did it. You are incredible. Everything that you have overcome, everything that you are, everything that you want to be, you are awesome. What did I tell you channeling? They think you're awesome. Yes? And they think that you can achieve whatever you ha you set in your mind. So they, t they see you like a natural leader, like somebody very confident, somebody that they know their true worthiness. <laughs> Look at that. I was channeling your awesome, and your awesome comes out. Oh my gosh, my love. Oh my gosh. And I'm watching your grandmother or your great-great-grandmother here smiling. She wants me to tell you that they love you so much. They're so proud of you. I am listening for some of you. You will make such beautiful kids, uh, babies together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the last card, Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. Okay. I really feel that you are this this spirit fox. You're very intelligent. You are a survivor. I'm listening. You're am I survivor? Na 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 na. I'm not going to sing anymore. And hermit, yes, retreat and recharge. I really feel that again. This is talking about you. You know how to be by yourself and you know how to be with people. You love spend time with your people and you love spend time with yourself. I think that you are truly a master. You have truly awakened. Maybe some of you, you're from India and others, you are from a from an English language uh, country such as Australia, USA, England. Okay. And we have eagle. Right? I was talking about USA. See from a higher perspective. Yes, I love it. I feel that many of you, you have met in India in many past lives, in many reincarnations. Let me grab another card because I'm liking a lot your reading. These are in Spanish, which is called uh, The Answer is So Simple. So this is not a complicated person. They are not complicated. They make life easy. I think you're, you're like that as well. And this is rebel yourself on another rainbow. <gasps> what I was telling the rainbow. Look at that. Look at that. Let me focus. Look at that. We were talking about the rainbow. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Accept it and relax. Yes. Wow. Maybe you guys are going to meet between February and July. Could be. Wow. And rebel yourself, right? Yes. I think that they see you like this. Like you are right now in a moment in your life that you don't care. You're not expecting others to validate you, your dreams. You don't care what people say about you. You just want to... You're a free spirit. <laughs> they love that about you. And you're very positive too. You're very sunny. I think that you have the ability of sending 
or activating light codes in others. Wow, group number two. What a blessing to connect with for both of you. I am doing daily readings. I am doing right now, I'm trying out, I'm doing this test. One day love reading, then a general topic. Love reading, general topic. If you like our energy, please subscribe and and give a thumbs up, of course. And if you want something more economical than my private readings and very, very, uh, very good, you go over there in Keen and Purple Garden, you're going to have amazing readers. You have my links down below. But if you want a reading from me, you don't mind paying more, you can do it through my shop. Have a beautiful day, my loves. I will catch you on the next reading tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>
And the, I have to I have to tell you something. They're they're very obsessed with dogs. They love dogs. Your future spouse loves dogs. Maybe some of you you're more of cats. Uh, maybe they're not so much of cats or maybe a different type of animal, but they love dogs. They love it. I don't know if <laughs> this is maybe something you were not expecting, but that I was listening to that. So we have the King of Swords, Aquario, Libra, Gemini, Energy. I Again, I'm watching customs. I don't think you ever received this information. They love to dress up. Maybe they love to dress up in intimate moments you know it's like okay i will dress up like a doctor and you like the nurse some couples they like that stuff you know <laughs> must be fun yes there's, there's something going on with customs even i feel that many of them they are creators because i am watching connection connection through collaboration maybe some of you you're going to collaborate together you both of you you're creators but but of different topics. Or maybe even it could be a creator or an actor actress that you're following. Okay, we have the Five of Swords, the High Priestess, the Nine of Cups. Okay. And I'm listening that your future spouse does not know how to cook many different types of dishes, but they're very good at the dishes that they know how to do. Okay, maybe they have like four dishes that they know how to do very well, but they don't cook a lot of stuff. But the thing that they do, wow, the rice is like, Mwah. I'm listening, Mwah. you know, the pasta, Mwah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> even pizza, I'm listening, okay. Also, we have the Knight of Swords. Something I think that you don't know about your future spouse is that when 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 you guys when you're going to be outside, okay, in the public, maybe in a restaurant. For example, imagine that they show me this scene. Imagine that you are in a restaurant. And somebody, maybe the waiter or the waitress, is not Mm, is not answering you, or is not talking to you nice, or maybe it's somebody that pushes you. I don't know if they do it on purpose or not. Really, your, your future spouse is going to always defend you, even, even in those moments that maybe you're wrong. <laughs> okay? That's what I was listening to. <laughs> so, it's like... I think that your future spouse is going to tell you, I am your great admirer. I mean, whatever you need, whatever type of support you need, although in some situations I may think that maybe you're not being very objective, but they will always support you. They will always support you. They will always defend you. They will always try to help you out. Yes, I like that. Again, they're showing me food. And this is something that they... That whenever you're going to feel sick, they will travel to to give you some nice home soup, you know? They're very nice. Your future spouse is very nice. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten. Wow, two tens and the Destiny, right? With the Wheel of Fortune. So, what did it, what would we say? Three in a row. So, one, two, three. I feel that, again, maybe they went through... You are the third... I think that in most cases you are the third one. Like the third serious relationship and the last one. I'm listening. You see, it was really very very hard for them the two other relationships very very painful karmic horrible <laughs> even they're going to tell you like laughing like look, look if i told you about my exes and i'm not perfect i know i'm not perfect i mean they're very go they're very natural in that sense you know they don't see this is not like the typical people i would never trust someone um this happened to me in the past when I was dating. Has this happened to, to you guys as well? 
But whenever I met a, a man and they were telling me horrible things of an ex and they never said anything, not only one thing wrong about them, I said, ooh, red flags, this is not the one. No. If they don't see their own mistakes, no, this is not for me. And this is not the case with your person, with your future spouse. They are very natural and they will tell you, look, I think these are not, these are my weakest <laughs> points, but I know I'm not perfect. But if I tell you situations with my exes, but I understand I, I attracted that, <laughs> you know, but I, I, I sense like a good vibe coming from your future spouse. I really feel with the five of swords, the ten of, and I see with the ten of swords and the knight of swords. I think that they met many people that in the beginning they were very strong in the commitment, whether it was a friendship, uh, uh, maybe it, it was in career, uh, concerning career matters. They started very strong, the connection with them, but suddenly they left, you know. I don't feel consistency in many people in their life. Maybe they had to learn how to um, deal with abandonment issues. Even it could be that some of them, they could be adopted. And we have the six of wands. You see, you are going to be their, their best success. <laughs> They're going to be, my love. My love, I knew, I knew there was a God <laughs> because I have met you. I knew there was good karma because you're here, you know, again, high priestess, balance, duality, right? A lot of balance. You're going to bring them a lot of balance, a lot, a lot of harmony, harmony, a lot of equilibrium, your values, the way you are, the way you think, you know, it's like you like to give and receive and they like that about you. I really feel that both of you, you're perfect for one another, but maybe I'm, I'm talking about your future spouse and you are saying, this is what I live too. This happens many times that we attract somebody that has lived very similar situations, right? They like the, the color of pink and blue. I'm, I was listening and green high priestess harness mystic power yes i really feel that this is talking about both of you that probably you met in egypt and you were maybe you have always been a high priestess it's funny because i i i changed my the name of my channel from anna robertson in just whisper to the star priestess tarot because I have been to a high priestess in, not, I don't think in all past lives, eh? but in some years. And I think this is the case for many of you. Maybe some of you, you have been high priests or strong sorcerers, uh, alchemists, magicians, witches. I see a lot of witchcraft as well, but I, I sense that both of you, you have met like in Egypt many times. Lemurian, I'm listening as well. I feel a lot of Lyra and vibes. I think this is coming more from you. I feel a very strong connection with dragons. I don't know if some of you believe that you have lived a past life with dragons, a writer of dragons. There's something going on with dragons. I don't know if this is the name of the company or a song that, that speaks about this connection. Um, I don't remember the, the name of that song band uh, dragon how is it called he's very he's very good he sings very well medicine mother i love it with the infinite symbol i think that both of you you will marry this year or you will meet this year or you have already met some of you uh, because this is the year that I'm recording, 2024. Do not worry if you see this reading in 2025, 26, in a different year. This is your reading. Honor your inner knowing. Okay, I love it. One of the two feels very attracted to Africa. Or has a very beautiful chocolate dark skin, very beautiful and brown eyes, hazel eyes.
so cute. Look at that. Look at that. And the, and the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know if some of you, you like to wear like very big earrings. Earring. Earring. You know, I feel that both of you, you have the ability, the psychic ability to listen to spirit. And you're very good listeners. Both of you, you're very good listeners. I think that you have been struggling with that, finding people that truly knows how to listen and they're not selfish. So many people say, say that they, they are good listeners, but I don't think many people are good listeners. Do you think the same? I was listening to the gem goddess. I don't know if, if some of you you're going to meet through a, one of the gem goddesses videos. And in the comment section, you see their comment and you start talking. It could be. And if it's not the gem goddess, maybe it's, maybe some of you, you're called something similar. A god, goddess, gem. There's gems in your channel or you like to work with gems. Or you sell gems or you are starting to work with gems. This is rest number 21 and 16 with the with the sight in the stars and it's so funny because today i have just uploaded in my spanish tarot channel crece tu alma tarot and it was about march and these are two of the cards of the four groups this is so crazy if you want to check out my pick a card from my spanish tarot channel of march and put in the subtitles in these groups. I believe this was group number one, if I remember right. And maybe this is group number two or three. I don't remember. Wow. So there's something going with astrology. I feel that both of you, you're a, a perfect, there's perfect compatibility concerning your zodiac signs. And you are connecting through your dreams. Even I'm listening, lucky you, you have already made love to your future spouse in your dreams. Yes. You know it. <laughs> you know it, my love. And let's grab more cards here. Some people are afraid of their gifts. And I've, I don't think they have told you this in any reading. They have a very specific gift. I've, I'm listening to telekinesis. A mediumship like very strong mediumship like crazy you know that some mediums i mean i am a medium but i would be afraid to allow spirit to come to my body to speak through my body you know some mediums are like that i feel many of them they're they're very strong mediums very strong medium very 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 even shamans even it could be that some of them are shamans so choose love tell the truth Okay, let's grab all of them. You see, both of you perfect for one another. And you're going to have even better luck together, good luck together. Even I'm listening, winning the lottery together, play. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, what did I tell you about the dogs? What did I tell you about the dogs? They are obsessed with dogs. Maybe this is a, a way of speaking of spirit to tell me that they are obsessed of finding someone that it's faithful they cannot forgive people couples that are not faithful they, they will not forgive you if you are unfaithful not sometimes okay i have to be sincere it's many of you okay maybe i'm not i'm not talking about some of you slow down and trust your intuition you see one of you it's more of cats and the other one is more of dogs but this is not going to be an issue at all and trust your intuition. Yes, oh my God. Such a big transformation, both of you. You are growing such in, in such a beautiful way. I think that this is a confirmation from spirit. If you're watching butterflies, when you are having a nice walk, maybe in drawings, maybe in cartoons, maybe in movies, maybe a sticker that you have of a butterfly, or maybe... Uh, another student that they have a butterfly in one of their books yes this is your confirmation that trust your intuition that you're getting close wow group number three what a beautiful reading i love your vibe 
I really love it. I, sa I see such long, interesting conversations. You're, very, you're so nice. Both of you, you're very, you're very cute. I am listening. You're going, you're so cute together. Even, even some people are going to ask you, how many years have you been married? It's crazy. Even on the first date, oh, you guys are married, and you're going to go like, no. <laughs> Maybe one of the two is going to say, not yet, not yet. <laughs> you're number three. I am uploading daily readings. If you want to subscribe, thumbs up, of course, if you have liked it and not to miss another of my readings and um, touching the notification bell and if you want a more specific details more information more private in a sense a private reading and not spending a lot of money with really good readers you have the offers of keen and purple garden down below no more than one dollar in keen and no more than ten dollars in purple garden and if you want a private reading from me because you like my energy and you don't mind spending more money you can do it through my shop down below because I have open spots. I open spots from time to time. Okay, I don't. I'm. I don't accept private readings always, but I like to to do this for all of you guys. And of course, I receive money. <laughs> I like that. Mangos, big kiss from Spain. Bye. <laughs>